Hello, and welcome to episode 110 of River's Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'll be reviewing a random game, Crazy Balloon. Crazy Balloon was released in 1980 by Taito. My first time playing this game was on MAME. Crazy Balloon is a amazing strategy game in which you move your character, which is a small box with a large balloon tethered to the top of it, with four directional buttons for up, down, left, and right movement. You need to move your character through a maze of spiked circles. You need to avoid these spikes because if one of these spikes contacts either your balloon, box, or string, you will lose a life. The game will begin with this display stating, Let's attack as well as player 1, level 1, all while the remainder of the screen will fill up with the spiked circles. The spikes will be in an overall pattern of 26 across and 26 high. While the screen is filling up, the game will play the intro to O oh Susanna. After the introduction, the game board will appear. The game board will consist of a maze cut into the series of spiked circles. The spikes will be mostly of a light blue color, although there will be three other colors which will be covered more in depth later in this video. The main path will consist of what looks similar to a backwards S. You need to maneuver your character safely through this maze without touching any of the spikes. If you contact a spike, you will lose a life, although the spike you touch will disappear for the rest of the level. The game will begin with your character at the bottom right of the playfield. The balloon on your character's box will begin swinging left and right. You need to move your character through the tunnels that are surrounded by the spikes. The first thing you need to do is maneuver your character across the bottom corridor. Once you reach the far left corner of the first corridor, you will need to move vertically through another corridor up to the second horizontal corridor. For this corridor, you will need to move to the right. One thing new about this corridor will be the shortcut tunnels. There will be a shortcut at the immediate left of the second corridor. The spikes surrounding the first shortcut will be purple. Although these corridors will save you time and you will earn more points for passing through them, they will be narrower than the regular corridors so you run the risk of hitting the spikes. A little further to the right of the center corridor will be another shortcut. The surrounding spikes of this shortcut will be green. This shortcut will be shorter than the purple one and will score more points than the blue spikes but less than the purple spikes. Once you reach the far right of the middle corridor, you will once again need to move vertically through another corridor up to the top horizontal corridor. Once you reach the top corridor, you will need to move your character horizontally and to the left to reach the goal. This corridor will have a large dog leg halfway across it. You will need to carefully time your move through this dogleg because you have a greater chance of contacting the spikes during this portion of the corridor. Each level will have a bonus timer. This timer will begin at 1000 points and will begin decreasing after approximately 24 seconds. After 24 seconds, the counter will begin decreasing 20 points approximately every half second. Reaching the goal will award you whatever points are on the bonus timer. If the timer does run out, you will not lose a life. After clearing the first level, you will face another level which will look like the first level, although this time there will be a new twist. Between the horizontal corridors, there will be a spike that will move side to side making it harder for you to cross. The spike between the bottom and middle corridors will only travel across the gap, although the spike between the middle and upper corridors will move across all gaps in the corridor. If you contact the spike, you will lose a life, but just like before, the spike will disappear for the rest of the level. Level 3 will be a completely new layout. This layout will look similar to a backwards number 6. In addition to the new layout, there will be green spikes signifying there is a tighter corridor. As opposed to entering the goal from the side, you will need to enter from above. For level 4, you will once again play the same layout as the first level, although this time the entire layout will move up and down as well as left and right, making it harder to navigate through the corridors. Level 5 will have the same layout as level 3, although the center section of spikes between the first and second corridors will move around, making it harder to maneuver through. Level 6 will have an entirely new layout. This level will have more tight corners that you must navigate through, although in addition to the green and purple spikes, there will be a corridor with yellow spikes. This corridor will be the tightest fit, although you will earn the most points for maneuvering through it. Level 7 will be the same as level 3, although the entire playfield will move side to side, as well as up and down. Level 8 will play the same as level 6. Clearing level 8 will bring you back to level 1, although now your balloon will move back and forth faster, making it harder to maneuver through the corridors. Beginning with level 10, there will be a new challenge, which will be a large face on one of the walls which will blow your balloon away from it, making it harder to control your character. These faces will also appear if you remain in one place for too long of a period. Scoring for the game is as follows. You'll earn 10 points for passing the box of your character through two blue spikes, either horizontally or vertically. You'll earn 200 points for passing between two green spikes, 300 points for passing between two purple spikes, 
and 500 points for passing between two yellow spikes. I really enjoyed playing this game and would recommend playing it whether in an arcade setting or on an emulator. I like this game more than 88 games but not as much as Wizard of War, so Crazy Balloon flies its way to the 67th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.